Skype for Business Server 2015 supports interoperability among Skype for Business Server 2015 clients. Most IM, Presence, and existing voice features are also supported when interacting with the Link Server 2010 and Link Server 2013 clients. When installing Skype for Business Server 2015 or migrating from previous versions, you need to consider certain factors that are important for client integration. You need to examine and plan for interoperability among users who use various Skype for Business Server 2015 clients and previous versions of Skype for Business Server 2015 clients. Determine the client features that you need to deploy during planning. In Skype for Business Server 2015, there are a few changes to client configuration, installation, and updates, and alternative meeting clients for users who do not have Skype for Business 2015 installed. Skype for Business 2015 also has improved privacy and scenario changes. You should be aware of these changes when you plan for client integration. Determine the clients you want to use for your topology. Skype for Business Server provides various clients for mobile devices, web-based clients, and computer-installed clients. Determine the hardware and software requirements for Skype for Business Server 2015 clients. Ensure that your topology supports the hardware and software requirements. It's also important to examine policies and in-band settings. With Skype for Business Server, most policies for clients are no longer controlled by group policy objects, but delivered by using in-band settings. In Skype for Business Server, you can use group policies for client bootstrapping, such as setting security policies like TLS or TCP or to determine whether the tour of the interface should be displayed. You should plan for the configuration of client group policy settings for bootstrapping before the user signs into the server for the first time. Also for migration projects, you can configure the client version policy to control the client software versions. You can configure most group policy settings in previous versions of Skype for Business Server 2015 such as Office Communication Server 2007 by using Windows PowerShell commandlets. With the new approach in Skype for Business Server 2015 toward in-band settings, you can plan for moving appropriate group policy settings from GPOs to policies. You can also plan for eventual coexistence of policies for Skype for Business clients and GPOs for previous versions of Skype for Business Server clients during the migration. Lastly, Consider compatibility of client versions. Determine how Skype for Business Server 2015 will interact with previous versions of Skype for Business and installed versions of Microsoft Office and Exchange Server.